Good morning students. You are most welcome to English grammar lessons. Today we will discuss conditional clause. That is very important for your examination and to develop your writing skills. Today we will discuss what are the three types of conditional clause. That is very simple. You have to listen here. Conditional clause. First one, probable clause. Second one, improbable clause. Third one, unreal condition in the past. We should understand how to form, how to write these three clauses. We will check in detail. First of all, these clauses are called if clause. Means there is only a possibility, there is only a chance to occur, to happen. That is why these clauses are called conditional clause or probable. First one, example, if I practice well, I will win. There is a possibility. When we create this type of examples, first we will write if, then subject, then here first form of the verb, here subject will or shall plus infinitive means first form of the verb. This is a formation of construction of probable condition or probable close. If I practice well, I will win. You should see that here we have used after if subject first form of the verb. Here subject will or shall or plus subject. Sorry, verb. Example, I can tell you one more example the same way. If I get lottery, I will buy a car. I can tell you one more example. If you invite to me, I will come. In three examples, in three sentences, you might have observed that we have used only the first form of the verb. In the main clause, we have used will. There is only a possibility. This may occur. This may happen. Second one, you listen. If I practiced well. Second one, because the verb is past. The first one, present. Second one, past. Here, instead of will, we have used would or should or here. You listen. If I practiced well, I would win. Because here we used past. That is why here we used would. There is This is improbable condition. Means it will not occur. I can tell you one more example. If you invited me, I would come. If I studied well, if I studied well, I would pass. If you reached there, you would get the bus. You would get the bus. This is a second clause. Third one, you listen, what are the changes occur here? If I had practiced well, here we have used had plus pp form of the verb. If I had practiced well, in the main clause we have used would have, would have, then verb also past participle 4 means that is unreal condition. 
in the past means it will not occur there is no chance for it here i can give you one more example if you had invited me i would have come if i had studied well i would have passed if i had got your address i would have written to you so you have to practice it with more examples if you are watching first time please you have to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the updates thank you for watching